cut, it's done. I want to go home. <laughs> Hey, glow getters. Now, I know, I know you're going to be like, girl, where have you been? I know. <laughs> I needed to take a break and let's just get into it. <laughs> so, hey, it's your girl, Chi Chi. If you are new, welcome. Welcome to the glow getter family. Um, over here in this channel, we talk fashion, lifestyle, styling, right? All of the things. What is the goal? To get all my ladies to look and feel good. Wear the pieces in your closet that feel good and look good and don't feel bad about having to wear multiple times over, right? That's what we do and talk about. All right. Why did I take a, a long, long needed break? <laughs> because I was feeling burnt out. <laughs> I was feeling burnt out. Um... Yeah, we're going right to it, right? We, I was feeling burnt out. I was just done with not seeing any views on the channel. And um, and for those that continuously watch and support me, you know I appreciate you guys. I think I was on this, this race of why is my numbers not growing? Like why am I not getting a lot of views and that kind of burnout. You know, I'm putting out content and it's like, okay, am I boring? Am I not getting the girls what they need? Like what is it that's what's tea <laughs> and even when trying to figure out what's tea nothing was producing you know what I'm saying so nothing was brewing so I'm like okay you know what this is it and then um if you don't know who I am I am a mom I'm a wife what I work a nine to five um I'm a child of God, right? <laughs> I'm a daughter of God. I'm a follower of Jesus Christ. And the Holy Spirit is my advocate in defense. Okay. So that's all you need. That that's me in a nutshell. Now, but in all seriousness, I really need to take a take a break. And I was toe in the line of content creation becoming an idol, right? And so you might be like, what? That don't even make sense. Boop. Just hold on. Let me get there. I was Everything that I was doing was putting into just, I wanted to get videos out. I needed to be on TikTok. I needed to try to figure out what to write, um, what to post on Instagram. Like it was too much consumption, too much consumption as far as I'm constantly looking at, okay, what can I do? What's next? Like what's trending? How can I pick myself and be up at the forefront? And then also like this, again, the hamster wheel of, okay, I need to put out more videos. If I put out more videos, it, um, more people are going to like what I'm watching or more people will view me and blah, blah, blah. In reality, I was, all of my focus was going into this and it was taking away time from other important things. The Lord basically said, look, pump your brakes because, um, yeah, you told in that line. So I did. <laughs> That's what that's what children do, right? They listen. I listened. I took the break. Really, really well need break. Um, and so I'm back. I decided to come back. I'm not even gonna lie. At first, I wasn't even. I wasn't sure if I was even gonna um, attempt this. I just thought like, cut. It's done. I want to go home. <laughs> I want to go home. Yeah, I don't want to be here no more. <laughs> In all honesty, I definitely felt like that. And, and I'll get into why I started. Like, I started I started content creation. I think I posted my first video in, like, 2019. Um, my second video in 2021. And um, I, I did it because I, I'm not going to sit here and be like, oh, I just wanted to do it for fun. No, I wanted to make money, okay? I, I, I'm going to be very honest with you. I wanted this to be a, another stream of income. Um, yes, that's one, but mainly I wanted to challenge myself to be in front of the camera. Right. Um, I actually, <laughs> very vulnerable moment. I didn't like to take photo photos, right. I didn't like to be photographed. I always thought I wasn't photogenic. Um, I didn't think that I was photogenic enough. I didn't look pretty enough. You know, anytime that people would see me, I'm like, I look better in person and my photos don't really catch my essence. And I find, I found out that I list, I missed a lot of fun moments all because I didn't want to take pictures. And, um, 
when I look back, I'm like, man, you know, there's certain things that you know you can remember, but pictures really help to, you know, bring back those memories, those fun times, just all of it. And I wanted to challenge myself to be more in front of the camera and actually doing YouTube was a challenge to myself. And so that's really what made me just to get up, get that fear of thinking I'm not pretty enough. I, I like, I'm not photogenic and being in front of the camera talking like how I'm talking now and also being able to, you know, get comfortable with showing a full body picture of myself. Right. And that's basically what, um, that's what my, my goal was to do that, see how I like it. And then if I, if I like it, continue, if I didn't like it, then all right, you know, I did, I challenged myself. That was good enough. I can say, I can cross that off the list and say, mm, it's done. Right. That's where, um, that's what my goal was. But when I found in doing it, I'm like, oh, I really like this. I think I can really go on with doing it. I started, I, you know, again, pouring all my, um, time focus and that kind of thing into doing it. And then I'm like, man, this is not really yielding anything. I'm not seeing any results. Is it cause I'm not posting the way I'm not, you know, like I know that I have to bring value and that's exactly what I'm trying to do. And especially being new, not everybody's going to see you. Not everybody's going to look at what you're doing and see it as, okay, I can really rock with shorty. <laughs> you know what I'm saying, right? <laughs> It was just frustrating. I think it was just frustrating putting up all these videos. Some would do well, some wouldn't do well. And I'm like, buying all these clothes. Well, I'm not mad at the clothes. I do like the clothes that I buy. So I'm not buying like all crazily. I do, um, my closet can't fit anything else. Like my hangers are not even, they're really not even, in, <laughs> they're not even in the the line that is supposed to be and it's crazy yeah i was like dang am i buying all these clothes for nothing like wasting my money like i can keep my money <laughs> i didn't want to consume so much that i have nothing but clothes with tags and i don't wear them and i want to be able to wear every piece of clothing clothing that i get and show it to you guys so yeah anyway do I feel that it's a bust? I was feeling that. <laughs> and maybe some parts of me still feels like it's a bust. But do I like content creation enough to continue to push through? Yes, I do. I, I, I really like it. I like it enough to continue. I like it enough to revamp, refocus, and, you know, like uh, revitalize the, the strategies that I'm doing now. Uh, will this make me blow up? Maybe, maybe not, but... um that's not the, that's not the main focus, right? There is an end goal. And I think that once I've told myself, what is that end goal? Start to work backwards. And that way I can like piece all the steps together. Yeah, that's where we are. I figured I'd just put up a video and let you guys know I'm back. I am back. I really missed you guys. I can't wait to make some content uh, and just be in front of your phones TVs, wherever it is that you watch me, I'm excited to get back in. I think it would be better this time around. We're, we're crossing our fingers. I, like I said, some things w worth fighting for does take time. And so, uh, God is in it. I, I believe that, um, yeah, I believe that's going to work out. We're back. Okay. So we're here. You get to see my face again. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Can't wait to keep you posted on what we doing next. All right. So much love to you guys. Bye.